Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Speaker, uh, you talked about anti-Semitism on the world stage. We've seen it with the United Nations. We've also seen it now with the International Criminal Court. Can you elaborate a little bit? You put out a statement about the International Criminal Court bringing charge, possible charges against Israeli leaders. Yeah, it's a it's a very dangerous development. You're you're seeing an, an all out assault on the state of Israel and uh, those of, of Jewish heritage and, and ethnicity. And it, it's unacceptable. The ICC, for them to take the step to suggest they would they would issue a, a, a warrant for the prime minister of the country who's in the midst of a war for the very survival of his nation is unconscionable to us. And I, and I will tell you, I spoke within the last hour to, to uh, Secretary Blinken about this issue. And he confirmed that the position of the White House is our position as well. I'm glad to, uh, that they are affirming that, and I suspect they will do that publicly later today. They are calling for the ICC to stand down. Mr. Khan, who is in charge of that, is, uh, has, has hinted that he might be issuing uh, the warrants uh, to be executed, and they'd better not do that, because that would unsettle the situation. It would be a terrible sign on the world stage, and I think that it would make us as a nation respond in kind to the ICC. I think there would be appropriate sanctions. I think that there uh, is a bipartisan, I think, um, a group of senators and House members who would move expeditiously, and uh, we might just turn the table on the ICC. They better be careful. You can hear that straight from me. Yeah. Back row. Back row. Back 